Hello, I'm Dr. Angelo Landrasina, AKA Dermangelo, board certified dermatologist, skincare enthusiast, and tester of new products. I am here today on location at the New York Edition Hotel on behalf of Coco Kind. They so Coco Kindly invited me out tonight to relax, get some rest and relaxation, and recuperate myself while testing their new resurrection polypeptide cream. We're gonna run through a whole bunch of different Coco Kind products tonight. I've already done some reviews of Coco Kind products in the past, and if you haven't seen them, Maybe you're not following me on all social media at Dermangelo. You should be. Let's get underway. Chin chin. Let's see what we'll start with. There's a cleanser in here. Okay, here it is. The Oat to Milk Cleanser. I've never tried this before. They say that this is a prebiotic oat cleanser for barrier support. Okay. With damp hands, massage cleanser onto dry skin to create a milky wash. So my hands are damp, but my skin is dry. Okay, let's do this. Okay. We're gonna dampen our hands. Sorry for the sink noises. I know some of you don't like that. There's a there's a seal on this on the inside. I should have done this with, with dry hands. Cause now, oh, I got it. They don't pay me the big bucks for nothing. Okay. Redampening my hands. Ooh. This is not what I was expecting. It's very gel-like. I know that this is one of the, the products that I've heard about a lot from them. People talk about it a lot. It's melting down nicely. Like it immediately kind of turned into this emulsified sort of texture. I don't know if this is supposed to be an oil cleanse, like a first cleanse or just like your only cleanse. She feels nice. She feels thick. This feels nice to massage around. They also gave me a um, gua sha tool. I never use these, but it's a little... Lymphatic massage. Oh, I got this on. Here's the thing with gua sha or like any facial massage tool. These could deep puff. I don't think that they've ever been shown to really do anything for your skin long term. I've also got <laughs> a jade roll. Well, this isn't jade. This is a Mount Lai facial roller. All these things are beautiful, by the way. Beautiful objects, but you know, a little deep puffing facial massage. Wait for it. <laughs> Guess this one's really like here. It's just like a travel size one. Okay, I should rinse this off. BRB. Okay, our skin doesn't feel stripped or dry after that cleanser. First impression, I like it. I feel like it's giving me a little bit of a hybrid between oil-based and water-based cleansing, and I like that. Like, it's kind of reminding me of the Ordinary Squalene Cleanser, which is one of my favorite cleansers of all time. So, good first impression. Next, we will be moving on to the Turmeric Illuminating Solution. So, as some of you may know, turmeric is anti-inflammatory. They've also included seven percent PHA, mandelic and glycolic acid blend for soft and smooth skin. So where exfoliating, they want you to press this onto the face, see what it looks like. This is another product that I've never used before. Give it a good shake. Does smell like turmeric, maybe a little bit of ginseng, Let's say four to five drops. That was enough. Oh man, this really smells like turmeric. Interesting inclusion of turmeric, which is known to be somewhat anti-inflammatory in a product with exfoliants. That makes sense to me, or kind of offsetting maybe some of the inflammation that could be caused by the exfoliants. This is thicker than a lot of liquid exfoliants that I've used. I like the inclusion of PHAs here. PHAs are actually hydrating to the skin and gentler on the skin than just straight up AHA. So a good choice. I like it. That's my first impression. I like it. It'll be interesting to test out some of these a little bit longer term. I, as I alluded to before, have already reviewed some of Coco Kind's products before, namely both of their SPFs. So I tested out their daily SPF as part of my skin formation series and the silk SPF as part of my SPF 30 series where I reviewed 30 sunscreens in 30 days. Those are out across social media, but if you want to find them easily, I do have headings of the collection at the top of my TikTok profile. And you should be following me on TikTok if you aren't already, at Dermangelo. Next up, we have their Ceramide Barrier Serum. Now, this is a product that I'm no stranger to. This is one of my favorite Coco Kind products. Interestingly, the way that I have used this the most is on my hand dermatitis in the winter. That may seem weird, and it is, but like this is the type of serum that you could use anywhere on the body. It does feel really fortifying and moisturizing. It's got this nice, milky texture. Let me see if I can show you. 
I hope we got some ASMR sounds in there. I feel like, especially when the weather's a little bit colder outside, this is the perfect addition under my moisturizer. It just gives that extra little boost of ceramides that you might be needing. I love it. This is potentially my favorite Coco Cut product, and it's, I think, like one of their most well-known legendary products for a reason. Okay, next up, we have the product that we're actually here for. This is the Resurrection Polypeptide Cream. So they say that this is a rich moisturizer for deeply restored and supported skin made with resurrection plant extract, plant-derived polypeptides, aka polypeptides are proteins, aka the peptides that you've been hearing so much about in skincare, and squalane, which is a, an ingredient that I quite often look for in moisturizers. They say it brings dull, dry skin back to life. The polypeptides improve radiance and support skin's natural collagen for firmer skin while the resurrection plant and squalane restore and seal in moisture for right now let's look at the i don't know why i smell everything first this is not a fragranced product <laughs> old habits die hard i got my little spatula let's dig in that's what she looks like let's just swatch this a little bit first Ooh, she do feel thick going onto the skin for the first time. I don't know about you, but for my night cream, I do look for something a little bit thicker that's really gonna restore my moisture barrier overnight. I'm not big on stuff like slugging, so that's why I'll go for a moisturizer that's not so much an ointment, but that is well composed and has humectants and other ingredients that are gonna hold water in my skin. I'm a little bit stumped at how to describe this texture. I feel like this is unlike other moisturizers on the market. So there's a lot of moisturizers out there with peptides in them. I know they're a hot ingredient right now, but they've been around for a long time. And peptide is kind of a blanket term that covers basically all proteins. And proteins do different things on the skin. That's why I don't love the peptide discourse. It's like saying like, oh, this product has vitamins. But, you know, retinol, vitamin C, and niacinamide are all vitamins, and they do different things for the skin. Same thing with peptides. What I will say they've achieved with this moisturizer is creating something that feels like it's forming a seal on the skin, which is something that I quite like for nighttime. I'm gonna really like compose my thoughts together about this and I think I'm going to do another installment in my skin formation series about it. So watch all of my social channels at Dermangelo for that. And there you have it. That was my complete Coco Kind routine. Thank you so much to Coco Kind for hosting me for their launch event. I'm going to post all the Coco Kind products that I use in this routine down below. There are affiliate links. So as always, I thank you for shopping with me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. If you stayed this long, you probably learned something anyway. So you should just you should give this video a thumbs up anyway. Ciao.